Hi everyone, today I'll be showing you how to make a scratch, a simple scratch creation. So I'm just going to close this tutorial and delete the sprite one. I'm going to get go to animals and characters and then animals. And then I'm going to get a butterfly. So now, what you want to do is right click on the butterfly and you can duplicate it. So we're going to have two butterflies. So on butterfly one... Let's just go to costumes and change the color. You can change it to whatever color you want. Go to the bucket and then just change the color to whatever you want. I'm going to go like this and then I'm going to go to red. And I'm just going to, actually, I'm going to make it like this coral color. So let's just turn it into coral. So that's going to be my butterfly. Let's say that the butterflies are twin. So. Now, I'm going to do the background. I'm going to do my background to be the forest because I like it. You can choose whatever background you want. So now, for Butterfly 1, what you're going to do is go to Events and press and take when the green flag is clicked. Then go to Motion and put in Turn 15 degrees. Then move 10 steps. And then place in, an, but then you have to place in another sprite. So it should be anything. You can choose anything. I'm just going to do something simple and choose this ball. So then what you want to do is change the size to 15. On the size I get, place in 15. And it's going to be really tiny. So I'm just going to pretend that it's like a fruit on the tree. So then on the butterfly, I'm going to place on a glide for one second towards the um, ball. So let's just rename the ball to an orange. You don't have to do it. I'm just doing it so it kind of makes more sense. So now that you have that ready... I'm just going to move this a little bit there. Now, what you want to do is for the second butterfly, go and do the same thing. Press, take when green flag is clicked. Then you want to place in, go do glide to a random position for however long you want. Let's say three seconds so when the green flag is clicked it will do all of that now let's this is just a simple thing it has nothing to do this is just to get you started in coding so this is basically all you need you can add more things if you want this is just something easy so there aren't any more things that you can add, but you can add a lot more things. Scratch has a lot of different selections of pieces. So now let's, so what you want to do is press this full screen control, press that, and then press the green flag. And then you can see that the butterflies are moving. So now you've coded something. So that's gonna do really well. So now that you know, you can notice that when the butterfly moves, it doesn't go back to where it was. So then when you press, when, so then when you press, we can do when you press space, take the one space key is pressed or when any key is pressed. I'm just gonna keep it at space. It could be anything anything so now what you want to do is when space key pressed do um we are just gonna duplicate no we're gonna get another item let's get an apple so i got an apple i'm gonna change the size to like um maybe a two now i'm gonna change it to 15. 
One second. A 15. Just like the other one. This is really tiny. So, I'm gonna press this. Place it right there. Actually, I can make it go smaller. Okay, can I go and make it to two? Oh, eight's the lowest. It still works. So, I'll just place it here. And if you want to get another sprite, let's get a basketball. Change the size to an eight. Oh, it can only go to an 11. Okay, it still looks like a little speck. <laughs> so then just place it over here. And then for butterfly one, when space key pressed, it's gonna go to we're not we're gonna change it from go to a random position to go to the apple and for butterfly two we're gonna do the same thing except go back to event and get the space key when space key pressed we're going to go and go back to motion and take this go to random position block and change it to the basketball. So that's pretty much it. Let's see if we can make some sounds. So can we make a sound? So let's see if there are sounds that we can do. Uh, animals, let's go to animals. Uh, hmm. Yeah, we can do this. This works. But we're not going to do it on this. We're going to do it that on the orange. So, you, it's technically not an orange. So, we're going to go to the orange and go to sound, play sound. And then there are no sounds yet. So, when flag is clicked, play sound. There are no sounds, so let's go back, get a sound, go to animals, and at the last thing, tropical birds. So you can kind of hear it. So, and the butterflies will be moving at the same time. So let's stop it, and then it's gonna be long enough. Play sound tropical birds until it's done so let's see if that makes a difference so and then when you press space it goes again but it doesn't move so there's another problem so let's just try and go to controls and go to the butterfly. And then I'll go to Apple. And then let's duplicate this. And then and then place it right here. So it's gonna move. So let's just place that here again. And then for butterfly two, when space press, go to basketball. And then let's duplicate this one again and then place it there. So let's, that should be pretty much good. So let's press it. Then press space again. And it will keep on redoing it. And you can tell that the butterfly one is changing its direction every time. So if you keep pressing it, if you were to keep pressing it, you can clearly tell that it's changing. It's going to a random position. So, so once you're done playing with it, that's pretty good. So that's pretty much what you're going to do. And thank you for watching my video. I hope you to see you again.
bye. So that's how you make the scratch. Bye.